What's up, fiends? I'm John from Nightmare on Film Street, and today we are making a sort of holiday no man's land cocktail to pair with our live stream watch party that we're having with the Fiend Club. We're watching an 80s trashster piece, uh, and we're keeping it a little bit of a secret. But uh, the movie itself is a riff on an old classic. Uh, Phantom of the Opera has a little bit of a little bit of a hint there, I suppose. And this cocktail in particular is a bit of a riff on the classic sort of Saint Germain cocktail, which is mostly just champagne and Saint Germain. Uh, apparently, so good they named the cocktail after it. Uh, anyway, this is a seasonal riff. We're calling it the I don't know the ch the Chilled Creeper is what we're calling it. I thought we were calling it the Classy Creep. We're calling it the Classy Creep because it's super classy for New Year's. Uh, and, you know, you're, you're watching it while you watch a horror movie with a creep that's walking around stalking a bunch of people in an undisclosed location. Okay, so for this, you're going to need some champagne glasses, some coupe glasses, whatever you want to use. But the cocktail itself doesn't have any ice in the cup, so we're going to chill the cups with some ice water while we're making everything else. Just want the cup to be nice and cold um, when we put our ingredients in it. We're gonna need gin, Saint Germain, champagne, obviously some ice, lemon, which I completely forgot, so I'm gonna go have to grab one from the fridge, but we also need maple syrup. I'll be right back. Lemons, we got them, finally. Uh, we're gonna start with the maple syrup just because it's gonna be, it's gonna stick to the shot glass a little more and the alcohol's gonna help swish it out so we can keep the sugars in there. Uh, I'm doubling the recipe, so, you know, just split this in half if you're making just one. Uh, but we're going to start with an ounce of maple syrup. We're going to need an ounce of lemon juice as well. Just juice that sucker up. Obviously trying to get any seeds in it. And something I learned recently, don't squeeze the hell out of your fruits when you're juicing them. Uh, it doesn't necessarily add a whole lot of good flavor that you want in it, even if you're trying to get every last drop out. I totally let a seed go in there. Fingers crossed the gate on the, whatever the strainer's called. Fingers crossed that gets the, uh, fingers crossed that gets the, the seat out for me. The gate. <laughs> I think it's, uh, yeah, whatever. The blockage that's stopping the pulp. I don't need comments while I'm putting this together. I'm stressed enough as it is. <laughs> uh, we're going to need two ounces of gin. Why don't you squeeze the whole lemon? Because that would be too much. I just need an ounce of lemon But juice. you said about it wouldn't taste good? Oh, like the cocktail would be yeah, too strong. Yeah, so the idea being like, uh, you could get some more lemon juice out of this lemon. You can see that there's more juice in it. But it would be bitter? But, yeah, but like the more you grind into it, the more you're getting into like the pith, that white spot on the lemon. Um, that's just what the experts say. I mean, who knows if it's actually true. This is how you end up charging like $20 for a cocktail, right? Because you like, can oh, only we, get like we, a we quarter. We a bunch of the lemon <laughs> for you and you pass the cost on to the customer. Uh, I've lost where I am, but we do need St. Germain for this cocktail. So we're gonna drop an ounce of that in. Do, 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 do. This, uh, this shot class that I got for Christmas from Kim, thank you very much. Yay! Has been messing me up a little bit because it's Canadian and it's labeled as milliliters and zero recipes that I look at use milliliters. So my brain has started to uh, to convert that and I'm getting, I'm getting okay at it. Lastly, we're gonna do champagne. Eh. Uh, you know what, this is silly. We're not putting this in the shaker, otherwise it'll explode in our hands. Uh, but we are gonna add some ice and we're gonna mix this sucker around. Till it's nice and incorporated. I also got this new spoon. It's pretty lovely. And once we've got that all mixed together, we're gonna dump our ice water out of our coupe glasses. Drop in our cocktail mixture. That right. looks really pretty. Thank you. And we're gonna top it off with champagne. Glug, 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 glug. You know, the universal measurement of pouring, glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Garnish with some rosemary for holiday flavor. You can smack it if you really want that scent to come out. And there you have it, one Christmas creeper. Happy New Year, fiends. Classy creeper. Classic creeper. Yeah. Mmm, delicious. Cheers. It's not in focus. Oh, oh. Cheers. Wait, okay, now it's in focus. Oh, that was a terrible cheers. <laughs>